Hey fellas, diving into the world of crushes and feelings can be a real roller coaster, right? Ever found yourself wondering if that special someone is feeling the same way? Let's unravel the mystery with a closer look at seven signs that your crush might not be riding the same emotional wave. Let's roll. Seven signs your crush doesn't like you. 1. The invisible act in a crowd. Picture this. You're at a gathering, laughter echoing, music playing, and there's your crush. But the moment the crowd swarms in, it's like they put on an invisibility cloak. Ouch, right. In those group moments, we all crave a sense of importance, a feeling that we matter, especially when our buddies are around. If your crush, however, seems to reserve their attention solely for one-on-one -on -one scenarios and conveniently fades into the background amidst the group dynamic, it's more than a subtle hint. It's like a whisper in the wind suggesting that the connection might not be echoing as strongly on their end. In those bustling social scenes, when the world is buzzing with conversations and laughter, your crush should be the one you're subtly drawn to, your mutual gravitational pull. It's not about being the center of the universe, but it's reasonable to expect a certain level of shared attention and acknowledgement in a group setting. 2. Body Language Barrier Now let's delve into the silent language of the body, a realm where unspoken messages can be as loud as a megaphone. If your crush is inadvertently creating physical distance, turning away, or using their bag as an inadvertent barricade, it's time to become a body language detective. Psychologist Jack Schaefer, in his wisdom, has shared that people naturally lean towards those they fancy. It's a subconscious, magnetic pull that draws us physically closer to someone we're interested in. Conversely, if your crush is leaning away, creating a literal gap between you, it's like the body's way of dropping hints. This isn't about them harboring dislike. It's about the need for a deeper connection, a bridge to span the distance. Paying attention to these cues isn't about overanalyzing every gesture, but rather tuning into the unspoken language that can reveal the nuances of attraction and connection. 3. The Ghosting Symphony Picture this. You're eagerly checking your phone, hoping for a message that never arrives. Costing, my friend, is like being left in the dark, wondering what went wrong. It's not just waiting for days. It's the gut-wrenching feeling of being left on read without a single word in response. The silence echoes louder than any words could. In the realm of emotions, ghosting is a neon sign flashing disconnect. When your crush opts for radio silence, it's more than just a lack of communication. It's a decisive choice to step back. It's a moment of realization that the romantic symphony you've been imagining might not be playing on both ends. While it's undoubtedly a tough pill to swallow, understanding this silence can be a powerful step towards clarity and ultimately, moving forward. 4. Initiating all conversations. Communication is a two-way street, right? In the digital age of texts and calls, it's a dance of connection, a shared effort to bridge the gap. Being the perpetual conversation starter might leave you wondering about the level of interest on the other side. It's like bringing your A-game to a conversation, but the echo of effort doesn't bounce back. A simple, how are you, from their end could be a game changer. It's not just about the words. It's about the initiation, the acknowledgement that the desire to connect flows both ways. So if you find yourself in this scenario, where you're the captain steering every conversation ship, it's worth considering the dynamic. Is it a one-sided effort, or is there a shared navigation towards understanding each other? Evaluating this aspect can unveil the true nature of the connection and help guide your next steps in the dance of mutual interest. After all, a conversation is a shared melody, and both players should contribute to the symphony of connection. 5. Solo Effort on Hangouts The One Man Show Imagine this scenario. You're the brains behind every hangout plan, the one crafting each gathering from start to finish. It's not just about suggesting a place. It's about orchestrating the entire rendezvous. If this sounds familiar, it might be an indicator that the effort dynamics are a tad one-sided. Relationships, be they friendships or potentially something more, thrive when both sides contribute to the dance. 
Healthy connections involve a shared effort, a mutual desire to spend time together. If you find yourself consistently putting in the legwork without the reciprocity, it's a sign to consider whether your efforts are being truly appreciated. Don't be afraid to sail into waters where your initiative is valued by someone who actively wants to be part of planning the journey. By the way, before we continue, if you're getting value in this video so far, hit the like button right now, and if you don't want to miss out on my next mind-blowing video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload it. And then, go to the comment section below and type, I subscribe, and I'll personally welcome you to the family. And guess what? I've got a very special treat for you. A free ebook called The Female Mind Control Handbook. This book reveals the hidden secrets of how to get into any woman's brain and make her crazy for you, wanting you so badly even if she already has a boyfriend. Just check the link below and it's all yours. With that said, let's continue. 6. Crickets at your jokes. A comedy conundrum. Now, let's delve into the realm of humor. Are you the jovial class clown, dishing out jokes like confetti? If your crush responds to your comedic genius with silence or, at best, a polite smile, it might be more than just a tough crowd. Humor, after all, is a language of its own, and a shared laugh can be a powerful connection. In the grand tapestry of relationships, don't let these signs become heavy anchors. Communication is your trusty compass, and it's crucial to navigate the emotional seas. If these cues are on your radar, consider opening up a dialogue with your crush. Even if the romantic spark isn't flickering as brightly on their end, remember, there's a vast sea of individuals out there. Someone will not only appreciate your quirks and wit, but will actively join in the laughter. As the saying goes, there are plenty of fish in the sea, each with their unique sense of humor waiting to align with yours. If you resonated with this breakdown, toss it a thumbs up, share the insights with your mates, and hit subscribe for more content like this. Let's chart the course through the waves of emotions together, one crush at a time. 7. The MIA Support System Imagine a rough day and you can't wait to spill your thoughts and feelings to someone special. Now, think about your crush. Are they there to lend a supportive ear, or are they mysteriously missing in action? If your go-to person is consistently absent when you need a sounding board, it might be an indication that they're not as emotionally invested as you are. Remember, relationships are a two-way street, and finding someone who not only values your highs, but also supports you through the lows is a key ingredient for a fulfilling connection. If you're noticing this absence of emotional support, it might be worth exploring how aligned your emotional wavelengths truly are. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to download your free copy of my book in the description section or pinned comment below. You'll be amazed at what you see. And lastly, I strongly recommend you watch the videos in the playlist showing on your screen right now. These transformative videos have the potential to catapult you into the realm of dating mastery, turning you into a true champion overnight. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're yet to. Feel free to share your thoughts and experiences with us in the comments section below. See you in the next video.